Hi everybody. Well, today I am in the um, looking over the uh, Minnesota River Valley, and um, I'm going to show you a picture. There it is. I'm going to pick out a spot because obviously we don't need to be taking and. Um, painting the whole thing. We can, I suppose. But this is what we're this is what we're doing. This fine Sunday. So well, we're just gonna. There's a river down. There's a river down here, and um, I need to touch my phone so it's. And um, I'm gonna try some trees in here. We're gonna do a, a as a loose as a loose sketch. And and there is some plain um, grassy areas in here. And then there's a lot of trees going on in here. So what happened was it was approximately 1969, 1970 is my mom and dad were looking for a place to move to. And we mostly lived up um, northeastern Minnesota, not all the way up. But um, uh, pretty high. And yes, there are vehicles on the road right next to me. So, because I'm sitting in a like a lookout type of a an area. Anyways, um, my parents are looking for a place to move to, and we were coming down this hill because it's a it's a nice slope going down into the valley here and. Um, in this area and um, dad seen this um, view and he decided that this was a place that he wanted to move to. So yeah, we moved into um, Granite Falls, Minnesota. And um, yeah, years and years. I was, basically grew up. This is my life here, and and um, this is where I grew up. This is Granite Falls. So I've swam in the the Brown River, and I've I have um, fished in the rivers around here. Yeah, grew up, lived my life, had my children. So basically, Granite Falls, I consider my home, hometown, I guess. When you say it's time to go home, that that's, that's where it would be. And we got trees sticking out here. I mean, you can't see any um, trunks going on here, but you can see the trees. We're just gonna do kind of a rough guesstimate of this tree. That's this is the this would be closest, and then there's all this grass that's here. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's um. It's, it is. It is definitely something. Let's get this little paintbrush and um, we're going to water this down and we're going to paint everything with this tiny brush. Whether it's a good thing or, or not. 
Um, there is something else that I want to put in this before I um, completely fill it with paint. Um, I was looking. Oh, look at there. I put a bug in my picture. That's always fun. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. There's a couple more things that I need in this picture. I was noticing and I forgot to do it is water tower there's a water tower here and but there's trees growing around it too so you can only go so far and there's cows and there's poles can't see the um you can't see the wires going across on them very well so we'll leave that as it is and yes that water tower is blue it's very blue so we're gonna make it blue Does my camera fall down? I'm thinking yes. It needs to stop. Let's get some green. We don't really care for that green too much. Okay, this particular watercolor palette is, is pretty generic. So we're gonna have to make it a little darker. So. The, the, the um, trees in the background are going to be dark. So we're going to let them be dark. And then we're just going to do loose today. Because, yeah, we can. That. And then we're going to add a lot of water. And then we're going to lighten that up a little bit. Put them trees in there. Mind you, this is all trees. So, I mean, we don't have to like paint the whole thing green because obviously you know it's gonna be all green. So we'll just give the illusion of it's all green. Except for this right here. There's water there. There's a little water there. And there's some water back here. So yeah, I mean, it's more than just green. And there used to be a NSP down here, which is like a power plant. And then a year or so ago, they tore that down. So that's a like a, a landmark that's not even here anymore. And when I get done um, with this picture, with this tiny brush that I'm using, goodness sakes. <laughs> um, yeah. Then we will um, pan up and let you see that but this is the trees and 
There's some plain pasture green and yeah. This is the point where I hope that my camera is actually getting a handle on um, what I'm painting. So this particular green, I think I might have to take out of my palette. Well, actually it's not so bad if I... We need the impression here of leaves. So we tap it and this brush came with this palette. So it isn't like I'm spent, uh, taking a $50 or $30 brush and destroying the bristles. I don't think that would be right. And then there's this this grass that's down here. I always put a little black in that green and that'll darken it up. I realize this looks more like an impressionist um, painting. Um, it's, that's how it goes sometimes. I have some yellow for the brighter side of this tree. You can do that. trees since I moved back to Minnesota I have difficulty with where I'm gonna put my where I'm gonna put my um, my camera so now what I'm gonna do My ear thing dropped out of my thing out of my ear. So, okay, that's what I drew. And that's what I seen. And no, I did not put those cows in there. Where are those cows? They're in there somewhere. This is where I'm standing. Um, yeah, it's like there's so much to, so much to paint. I mean, what do you pick and choose? Let's find that water tower. That should be right there. Yep, I think that's it. Oh, now we got more company. Anyways, everybody, thanks for for joining me on my on my artwork and enjoy that river. I hope everybody has a great day. Like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.